Hey guys, how's it going? Happy 2022. I cannot believe it's already February. Today we're going to be talking about the best camera settings for surf photography. And last week I asked you guys on an Instagram story poll what you want to know about surf photography. I think it comes to no surprise that the most asked question was what are the best camera settings for surf photography? So let's get straight into it. With surf, it's really fast paced, you have a lot going on, the subject is moving in and out of focus really quickly and through different depths of field, so it's really important to nail your surf photography settings. I'm going to start by talking about the three main moving parts of the camera, which are the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed, and then I'll talk about based on whether you're shooting from land or shooting from the beach, and what kind of water housing you have, what settings will be optimal for capturing the best surf photography. Now the three main moving parts of the camera are going to be shutter speed, ISO, and aperture, and how they all work together will determine what kind of imagery you're able to create. The first one we're going to talk about is shutter speed, and that is basically how quickly the shutter is going to open and close. My comfortable spot is usually about one one thousandth of a second, but it will depend on what the light conditions are like that day. Now once you get more comfortable with it, you can actually start playing with a slower shutter speed, stopping it down to one tenth of a second, or even slower and that's going to create more of a speed blur effect which can be really amazing. The second is aperture which is basically changing the depth of field for your imagery so when you have a lower aperture you're going to have a wider depth of field which means the subject is going to be in focus but the rest of your image is typically a bit blurred and then when you're shooting on a higher aperture you're going to have a lower depth of field which means that more of your composition is going to be in focus. So with surf I find that my sweet spot is about f7 to f8 depending on what the lighting conditions are. I really do like playing with the aperture in the water. Sometimes I really like stopping it down all the way to 2.8, which can naturally draw your eye to the subject or where you want the viewer to be looking. The third main moving part is the ISO. I typically shoot on auto ISO because there's so much going on in the surf. I find that the auto ISO capabilities of my Sony cameras is pretty great and I like that I can set a range which means I can select the low range and the high range of the ISO knowing that it won't go too far in either direction. modes of the camera that I would recommend shooting in based on one, how comfortable you are with your settings and two, what kind of camera housing you have for shooting surf. The two modes that I find best for shooting surf are full manual mode, which means you're controlling the ISO, the shutter speed and the aperture or shutter priority mode. This is my base plate for the Aquatech Edge housing. As you can see, I've got the shutter speed and the ISO and I've got my all of my settings. So I have basically full access to my camera in the housing. So I shoot on manual 100% of the time. I can adapt quickly in the water and know what's working best based on the lighting conditions as they change. Now, shooting surf can be really overwhelming, especially if you're just getting comfortable getting out in the water with your camera. So if you're either just getting comfortable getting out there or you have a housing that you don't have full access to the settings, then I definitely recommend shooting in shutter priority mode. On the Sony cameras, that's going to be the little S setting. So the shutter speed won't change, but the camera will actually change the aperture and the ISO to compensate for that shutter speed. So I find that that's the most foolproof way for getting as many clean and crisp shots, especially when you're shooting and the light's constantly changing and you're having to figure out where to sit in the lineup, making sure that you don't have water droplets on your lens and making sure that you and the surfers around you are safe. So make sure you guys are safe. I hope this video has helped a bit. If you have any questions, please let me know and I hope you guys have a lovely day.